It's a spring snowstorm bringing the Sierra to a standstill. Interstate 80 shut down off and on throughout the night. I want to get out of here. I just want to go somewhere. If we can't go, I want to go back. <laughs> I just want to move. We're not even moving. For drivers, it means hours long delays and progress measured in feet rather than miles. Many getting creative with how to pass the time. There's no point in getting mad and frustrated and screaming at things because it is what it is. Edwin Zuniga decided it was time to pull over and give his two dogs, Moose and Red, a chance to stretch. I've been in the car for about three hours now, so I thought I should walk around and they're losing their minds because of the snow. <laughs> there haven't been any breaks for Caltrans Superintendent Dave Wood, who decides what stays open and what closes. There could be a lot more prepared drivers. That would help me out a lot. It's the most underprepared he's seen drivers all year, and accident after accident is making the road unsafe. Time and time again, CHP and Caltrans are just shutting down traffic, leaving I-80 wide open. You can't drive on it. Instead, drivers are waiting in long lines for chains and paying a pretty penny to get them. Richard Martinez needed a tow just to make it this far. It cost me 300 to get here, another $100 to pay for the chains. Wow. So now if I'm going to be broke when I go to Reno, I have to go back home. But there is a silver lining. The delay is giving these kids a chance to play in the snow. One big happy family. A welcome break from the slow slog through the Sierra. Now eastbound 80 reopened about a half hour ago, but you do need chains and a lot of people do not know how to put them on. Take a look at this. This is the gas station in Nyack. Uh, it's the parking lot and you can see that there are a lot of underprepared people who are spending money that they were not expecting to have to spend in order to get over the summit. Reporting live in Nyack, I'm Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News.